for the starter motor. Mm -hmm. so, so what do we weigh on that flywheel now? Uh, the flywheel weighs, let's look at our sheet here, our spec sheet, 14 pounds now with the, with the cast iron gear teeth removed. Okay, let's talk about weight. What's our transmission? Uh, 79 pounds for the stock. Get drag uh, six, six uh, transmission. Yep. large housing. Large housing, yes. And um, then our, um, our motor is 164 pounds. 164. And our adapter plate? Uh, our adapter plate is uh, 34 pounds. We Thir started out with about a 64 pound uh, a block of aluminum, mm -hmm. machined everything out, trimmed it all down, and we're down to 34 pounds. 34 pounds. Well, that's not too bad. And uh, our flange and our shaft was a couple of pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and our pressure plate and our disc on that flywheel is another 10 pounds. 10 pounds. So 14 pound flywheel. That's pretty light. That's not bad. We could do some more lightening that, but uh, you know, we did on the Speedster. In retrospect, I don't think it matters that much. It, it didn't make, I don't, it, I don't know if it made that much of a difference. And we'd have to rebalance it and so forth. It seems to be pretty well in balance. All we did was take off the, uh, the teeth. And so I think that'll work pretty good. What are we going to do to put this together, Brain? Well, what we're going to do... Here, I'll get it. Okay. That's out. We'll slide this back around. Let's get rid of the cabling. Okay. So there's good. our motor, top up. We've got the, it's the top of our, uh, this dowel pin here. Um, mm -hmm. We've got a, we've got two uh, 14 millimeter by 60 millimeter long dowel pins in here. Okay. Which really locate. And, and that's really the location on the transmission. That, that's what really locates. All the bolts do is hold everything in place. This is where all our centers were taken off of. This is, this is, these two are really the key mm -hmm. to, uh, to us being able to put this together. So there's two objectives here, basically. We want the center of this uh, adapter to be dead on the center of this shaft and dead on the center of our motor shaft. Exactly. Um, what holds the, uh, so the dowels are what holds it in the proper position on the transmission. We're gonna put bolts on, on all this to sandwich it and keep it together. But that's not really what locates it. As no. Brian's saying, these two dowels are the key component of centering it on the transmission. And finding that center uh, required a, what do you say that, about a $70,000 machine right. over there that they have that can do this to um, a thousandth. Um, and so that's what we did at Erlbacher. Now what's going to center this on the motor? On, on the other side, the motor was provisioned when we had it spun around, if you, if you could see, there was a, uh, there's a recess in the motor. So we took and made that same thing a boss on this back side. Then when this comes up here, and this is the same theory with the dowel pins, this is really what holds the motor, really what centers the motor and holds the motor. Mm -hmm. The bolts that we put through from this side and we've recessed them are really just what holds all this together from spinning around. But really the location of the center, this is equivalent to those dowel pins. Okay. So there's a, that, that recessed uh, area about three and a half inches. About three and a half inches, yeah. That uh, boss is uh, really what holds it. All right. Well, let's uh, stick some bolts in it. We've taken some photos and measurements of this thing. We actually did it originally in two pieces. They went together very nicely on the dowels. Uh, I don't think you would have to if you want to do this. We spent the morning taking pictures. Here, let me hold that, help you hold that, Brian. Okay. And uh, you find a hole. I got one. We've been trying to make sense of the hand-drawn drawings, measurements used over at the machine shop. We took some photographs of this, and we'll have that on the blog where you can actually get the dimensions and photographs and could take that to any machine shop. They'll be able to do this all in one piece um, and be very nice. We've got some 10 millimeter uh, K 
cap bolts going in here, some metric by, uh, these are the M coarse thread, 1.5. M10 1.5. These are 45, uh, 45 millimeters long. We want, want to make sure that they didn't bottom out too much depth into the case. And we want to be able to reset <coughs> those so that just in case nothing is, uh, could bind with the flywheel, everything's recessed on this side. And those have washers and lock washers? They have washers and lock washers, so we countersunk those mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that we would be below, below that surface there. So we're just locked on here with that. And those four bolts uh, keep all this from spinning around. Again, it's located with that boss. And do we need to torque those to anything or well, we're just snug up? We're going to make up our own torque here. Um, we don't know. There was no torque spec. And we're using some pretty good bolts. I mean, we're using the equivalent of, a, of grade 8 bolts. Grade 8? Yeah. M10 1.5 millimeters uh, threads per millimeter. Gip thread from 1.5. Yeah, these would be considered the coarse mm -hmm. uh, bolts. All right, so that's on. Okay. EVTV is brought to you by Erlbacher Gear and Machine Works. Providing custom crafted precision gears, sprockets, and splines since 1955. With their full line of CNC machinery, Erlbacher is uniquely equipped to help you with your EV drivetrain components. Call Erlbacher today. Tell them EVTV sent you. So, this is um, from the face on the transmission. This is recessed here for our flywheel and in the center of that uh, for our flange. And uh, we, Mark Brain's already got our clutch disc and uh, um, pressure plate um, bolted together here on the flywheel. It's a standard process. Uh, you do want a, I guess, a centering tool. We were unable to get one. Un again, the same. We can get one for the 2008, not for the 2009. Right. We can't. We can't get one. Many there's a service toolkit that they would provide the dealers with, mm -hmm. but trying to find one, and we went to uh, every source, uh, including the underground, and mm -hmm. couldn't come up with one. This is uh, fairly standard. You've got your. Um, uh, 21, 22 pounds is the torque. You'll use thread locker when you, uh, when you bolt your flange up to your flywheel. Um, this is fairly standard mini stuff. Centering tool you just can't get, so you just have to, we, so just have to we eyeball it. We actually have a little bit of an advantage. Oh, let me have that other flange. We had uh, put a little recess in here, similar to the um, uh, engine uh, flange. Uh, for the transmission shaft and then the, the way you had to do that was with a, a chuck basically and so we have a very visible center in here so we could look we down could, through there and it was pretty good. easy to tell by eye uh, that our clutch was centered but this is a stock pressure plate stock clutch I don't see any point why why do we want a clutch at all why didn't we just hook this up to the transmission I, the car comes with one, it comes with a six-speed transmission and a clutch. I don't see any reason to get rid of them. We'd save a few pounds, um, maybe some complexity. We don't really need the clutch to shift because of the very low mass of the motor. You, the synchros in the transmission, we can run through all the gears um, without ever touching a clutch. But there's things moving a car around and so forth that uh, we might need one. And uh, for me, it's the disconnect the last resort. I, and I like that idea. That's, uh, that's our if last If all the electronics uh, failed, and sometimes they fail on, and we go into a full acceleration mode, I do have a disconnect switch. I can reach with my right hand. But the last resort is I can always pop the clutch, and that disconnects my entire electric car from the wheels. All right. Now, if, if we're in a runaway situation, it's going to hand grenade that motor. 
but it's not going to drive me off into the river and I can buy another motor. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's sort of the theory. Uh, but I like having the clutch. Why do we have the transmission? Uh, BMW went to a, a helical gear with a reverse the and, a, and a forward. Yep, for the um, mini, they certainly did. And a lot of people do this typically at about eight, eight to one, eight and a half to one ratio. And uh, because of the broad range RPM on the uh, motor, you can get away with that. Uh, number one, it come with a transmission. It has six speeds. Three of them are overdrive speeds. Internal combustion.